影啊，睇下你好靓喎，男仔有冇？这是 how I feel about leaving Kobe's. I don't want to leave. <laughs> that could be the intro. <laughs> that could be the intro. I feel like this girl is so annoying. Welcome, welcome back. It's been a year, long time. Happy to be back. This is an exciting vlog. Seema and I spent a week in Copenhagen. We just got back a few days ago and we had a fabulous time. It is a great city. The entire vlog was shot on this, except for one shot, maybe you could spot it in the vlog. Every shot you see was shot on this, except for this also, also this desktop shot. Uh, yeah, so this camera is great for travel. Uh, great flip out screen. This is the 11 to 22 millimeter lens. This is not the kit lens, it's a bit wider so when you when you vlog, um, you know, you, you're not so full in frame. Uh, I shot the entire thing in 1080p, uh, pretty happy about that. And it was great to, to travel with this guy. So, happy to be back. More vlogs coming. This is the first of, I don't know, maybe 10, 20, 30, 50, a million. For now, enjoy this one. Seema and I, Copenhagen, have fun. We are here at Tom Bradley. What? Yeah, I get it. Hey guys, it's me, Seema Morris. I'm here with Brett. And we're about to take an adventure to Copenhagen. We're so excited because we're going to be eating a lot of food and we're going to be sharing our tips with you guys ASAP. So, look out for us. culture, the people, the lifestyle, and this is going to be a special trip because we are going and staying in this one city the entire time, and it's not that big, and so we're going to know all the nooks and crannies, and we'll be sharing with you. We are on at WOW Airlines, our first time. And we're just chilling, getting ready for our adventure. I have a really good, I got a really good sandwich though to this place called the Tavern, which they have in LA. They have one at the airport of Tom Bradley now, and I got them a really yummy vegetarian sandwich with feta cheese, avocado, sprouts, and I believe there's some type of harissa sauce. So what are we looking at here? So we got the laurel for Brett. And we got, I got this vegan cob for myself. Beet, sweet, sweet potatoes, avocado, and chickpeas. So we're all set for our flight. We don't usually eat that much on flights, but I skipped lunch today because it was like hustling. So we we'll are chowing down this flight, it seems like. Yeah, we're stopping in Reykjavik and then uh, on our way to Copenhagen. We're here in Copenhagen right now and we're very lucky to be here right now because we almost missed our flight, our connection to Copenhagen from Iceland. So it was from pins and needles, we've made it and we're here and waiting for our bags. I'm really sleepy and tired, I'm trying to get the energy flowing. The immigration agent said to me, uh, I said, yeah, we uh, landed and we have to make a connection. And I said, our flight leaves in two minutes. She handed me my passport back and she said, run. Babe? What? I'm Okay. It's your first day going out in Copenhagen, so we're gonna hit, we're gonna head out and uh, meet our friend for brunch. Do you have a key? Yeah, I have a key. Wait, I'm 
off the door. Headed down the streets of Copenhagen looking for um, our friend Tani. Oh, maybe I should have worn a hat. Donut shop. I told you I don't want to be filmed. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be filmed. Sunhouse, good water. Yeah, we're going to be tall, Steve, and. Dinner, dinner in Copenhagen. Seema. Yeah. So, what do you think so far of Copenhagen, like compared to Amsterdam? Mm, that's a really good question. I think that well, they're both amazing cities, um, great walking cities. I feel like Copenhagen is a little bit more. Uh, it's cozier. Um, you don't see that many major streets and highways around here, which is nice. Um, I actually haven't seen anyone drive that many cars. Um, so I, I do like the fact that you can walk everywhere and just like walk downstairs in a cute cafe and walk on the block and there's like a Michelin star restaurant. So it's, uh, I don't know, I feel, I'm feeling Copenhagen. How do you like the food so far? The food, wow, the food's amazing. We've met a lot of great people, great foodies, great chefs. Pretty impressed with the food culture here. I love the fact that the organic trend phase is really really taking a major leap here all the restaurants do specify that they're organic um, and right now because it's summertime so many produces are in season we were just talking to a friend of ours who mentioned that summer is the best time to come to Copenhagen because of all the fresh berries Danish strawberries and the Danish tarts there's just so much going on right now with food and uh, herbs and yeah, so the food's pretty freaking epic here. I'm really feeling it. Yeah. So we are excited to be at Hoist. It's an all organic restaurant that has natural wine. It's a delicious food. Everything's local and pretty new and innovative. So we're going to check it out and see what they have to offer. I hope I like it. It's a real picky. I just want to let you know, Brett. I'm happy to be your wife. You're the best husband in the world. And I'm sending this toast for you. Saying health, happiness, and forever cheek to cheek, hip to hip breaths. Because guess what? My journey wouldn't be complete without my rock on my side. Cheers to you, my love. Only the best for my community. This is going to be a time lapse, a sequence of shots, and then it's going to compress them into a movie. I'll color correct it a little bit. And uh, we'll show our food from Plate to mouth to empty. Sunday morning in Copenhagen. Let's get some coffee. It's been in the mid 70s the whole week, nice and easy. It's been super hot in Los Angeles, so it's nice to uh, actually get out of the heat wave and be here in. Copenhagen.
buy drinks and bring it on? Nice yes. uh, shoes, the Stan Smith Originals. Yeah, exactly. Those are cool, man. <laughs> it's like my third pair. But <laughs> yeah, those are the best. Yeah, welcome on board. And uh, welcome to A Capsule. And uh, my name is Jeb. And I will uh, be your captain today on, on this tour. I live uh, just up here, so it's uh, two minutes on bike, and then uh, I'm here at work, so that's pretty awesome. Thank you. And uh, what do we have down here? It's uh, of course something to drink. So we have uh, some cold wine, some cold rosé. There you go. And we have uh, some Danish beers. There you go. And uh, it's all yours. If, uh, if you need anything more, we have uh, more on the cooling box and uh, even more on the oh, seats. Okay. Okay. So uh, just go ahead and more make it. More the seats, that's funny. <laughs> and make it so comfortable. We have uh, Spotify up here as well, so uh, if you want to throw some music on, you can uh, just go ahead. Oh, nice. you have Spotify? Yeah, probably. Say your uh, LG, maybe. Oh, yeah, I will. Right. Yeah, cool. Cool. So this is a nice little tour Seema and I just stumbled on. We, uh, this boat seats about 12 people, but for some reason, uh, our time slot, it was just the two of us, so it's like a private tour. It was That's a real treat. That really worked out. And so we're enjoying our time with Yepe and uh, some music, Spotify, beautiful day, SEMA weather approved. What can you say? It's nice. What do you say, Tony? <laughs> Welcome to Copenhagen. Isn't that what I'm supposed to say? Say something more clever than that. <laughs> <laughs> e equals MC squared. <laughs> yeah, we're on the way to get in a, a juice fill. How do you like Copenhagen? I love it. Back, back in my old town. I've come here since I was young. Very, very young. How long have you been here on this trip? A month and a half. Yeah, wow. Yeah. It's good to get a juice over here. Hey guys, I'm here on this amazing Sunday evening, another day of perfect weather, and we are going out to dinner tonight at this restaurant called Bar which is one of the brothers and sister restaurants of the Noma restaurant. The owner has opened a new couple restaurants. I'm really excited to try it out. So we're gonna be on a walk right now, probably about a mile and a half, and I'm wearing these uh, sandals, it should be interesting. Um, let's see how I do with these streets with a lot of cobblestones. I'll let you know how the food is. I've been documenting all the food, so I'll keep you posted. You love, you love money, so I can see your face. So pretty much this is the watchtower here in Copenhagen. And it's extremely old and on the top they have a observatory. And you can see a lot of the uh, astrologers go upstairs and visit astrologers, astronomers, <laughs> astronomers go upstairs and go to see the stars. And so we're walking, if you look the way we're actually going in a loop upwards, so it's an interesting way of walking. We're just rounding out the building, it's really beautiful. And there's a lot of natural light, 360 view, degree views, so we'll meet you at the top. Right there is a trash processing plant and apparently they don't have enough trash out there in Denmark to process so they have trash imported from other countries and they burn it there so it's shipped in burned here and then it escapes 99% water so Danish engineering this trash plant and it's super cool and um, the community makes a lot of money on it now it costs a lot but they make a lot now that it's uh, it's operational 
And apparently the owner there, or the architect, has an app on his phone. He just taps a button and smokes, uh, ra smoke rings will appear. So that must be a fun trick at parties to say, hey, look in the sky. And he pushes a button and a smoke ring appears. And you can see it from miles away. Pretty cool. Um, they have a car sharing service, so there's an app. Let's see. There's an app. I don't know if you can see it there, but basically we're gonna rent we're gonna rent this car right here. This is our car. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I think um we're gonna say book this car. Damage report. Click on the icon to be report damages. Do you see any damages? Okay, unlock car. Here we go. Unlock car. Price said blah, blah, blah. You can reach, if you are not uh, read more, please note. No thanks. Okay, unlock. Oh, I just heard it. Oh All right, get in. Going in, baby. Oh my god. All right. Uh, the last person. There we go. All right. This is interesting. So now what? I think there's a key in here. Oh wait, great. That's not even in English. Oh, it's it's on. Welcome to yeah, driving in Copenhagen, uh, pretty pretty good so far. Easy. This electric car experience is not bad at all. What do you think, babe? I'm feeling the same way. I'm loving that we could just pick up the car wherever we are and don't have to fill it up with gas or anything. You just drop it off where we like. We love electric cars. It's just more and more obvious every every uh, you know as time goes by. I mean, we love our Teslas, and it's nice to see electric and rentals like this. So. It's so easy as well too. Yeah, driving around Copenhagen, the drivers are super courteous. Signs are well demarcated. Very intuitive. The lights are great. Merges are good. People respect the speed limits. It's not like other places we've been where, you know, it's, it's hard to imagine how, how people drive, you know? Opera House. This is really, really cool. Pretty sure it's pretty new. Super quiet here in Copenhagen. Like, just really everyone has been so nice. Riding a bicycle around here. I had kids getting out of the way. Like, nicely saying, here you go, go. I'm riding this electric bike right here. It's like, Signed up for this thing in like five minutes. Done. Just works. You know, name, email, payment. That's how it should be. Anyway, so here's this opera house. Really beautiful. Look at that roof. Oh, that is so cool. 
There's that trash burning facility I mentioned earlier. Water vapor's coming out. Totally loving it here in Copenhagen. It is just so much fun. The food, the people, it's just great. I love it here. Yeah. I definitely want to come back. I don't say that about a lot of places. I really don't, you know, because I want to visit new places, but I would definitely come back here. I love it. So what's your assessment of Tivoli Gardens? It's absolutely beautiful. It's just, there's a little fairy tale. So everything's apt with the garden. I mean, there's wild bees. Roses and flowers are thriving, super green, really great manicured lawns, like high-end restaurants, good quality, very clean. It's gorgeous. What do you think of it compared to Disneyland? It's, I think, um, the major difference is just the way the lands look. I mean, Disneyland doesn't have wildflowers growing, grassy lawns, and like really, really nice restaurants. It's like all crap candy sodas here. It's just, it's very chic. It's nice. Hey, so what happened? Uh, what happened I saw, to that lady we just saw? She was crying and I heard her like crying. And she was probably in her 50s. And then no one was going up to her and asking her what she's doing. And I realized I looked at her leg, it was bloody. And then I went up to her and she was bawling and she said that she fell. She was calling her sister to come get her. So I went and got her um, some ice and I gauze to wrap it up. But she's learning to call the nurse right now so they can wrap it up for her because you can tell it was pretty dirty because there's a lot of pebbles and rocks here. But she's gonna be fine. Thank goodness. How do you like the electric bike, honey? 